everyone, I am Samiha Dereja from Kampala, Uganda and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the third video in this series of learning and exploring Scratch. If you are new to my channel, please check out my Scratch playlist. And in this video, we will be studying the algorithm for checking prime numbers and we'll develop the same in Scratch. So let's get started. A prime number n has only two factors, 1 and n itself. Now let's check if 121 is a prime number. We have to find the factors, leaving out 1 and 121. So we're going to check from 2 to n minus 1. All these numbers are not factors of 121, apart from 11. So therefore, 121 is not a prime number. Now let's check another number, 64. Same way, find the factors apart from 1 and 64. So we're going to go to 8, 32, all the way to 63. Now logically, any number above half of the value cannot divide n without a remainder. And mathematically, if we check from 2 to the square root of n, it is sufficient enough. So the list is shorter. So 2 is a factor of uh, 64, so 64 is not a prime number. Now let's look at the steps. First step is to ask the user to enter the number. Second step, we're going to find the square root of n, which is our number. And third step, we're going to loop i through 2 to the square root of n. And we're going to check if n is divisible by the loop i. And if it's divisible, we are going to display n is not a prime number and exit the program. If it's not divisible by any number in the loop, then we'll display n is a prime number. Now let's see how to do it in Scratch. We're going to grab this when green flag clicked from the events. And from sensing, I'm going to get this ask and we're going to change the text to enter the number. The answer will usually be saved in this answer bl block right here. We're going to make it easier by creating a variable named number and set it to the answer. Just put this answer block right here. Now we have to find the square root. And for that, I'm going to make another variable called sqrt and set it to the square root by this block right here from the Drop down, I'm going to choose square root. Of number and snap it inside the space. Now we're done with two steps. Let's go and get the loop. This repeats until loop. And we want it to repeat until 2 to the square root of n. So we need a counter for that. I've named it i and initially we'll set the counter to 2. From the operators, we are going to get this greater than operator and we're going to put i is greater than square root. And snap it inside this diamond shaped position. Let's grab an if then condition. And from operators, I'm going to get this mod block. Now, what this mod block basically does, it divides the numbers you put in the two spaces and it will give you the remainder. So, 4 divided by 2, remainder is 0. Let's check 4 divided by 3. Remainder is 1. And 5 divided by 3. Remainder is 2. Great. Now, we want to check number mod i. The remainder should be 0, so we're going to get an equals to operator. 
In this space, I'm just going to type zero and snap it inside. If the remainder is zero, then it's divisible by that number. So we're going to say not prime and exit the program by using the stop all. And in the loop, we want to increment i by 1. So I'm just going to get this change i by 1. Right, now at the end of the loop, we are if it's past all the numbers in the loop, then it's a prime number. So we're going to say prime. And let's stop all. Okay, so now our script is done. Let's just check it. Let's check 121, not prime. Now let's check another number, 17. It's prime. Now we have two exit points and the best practice is to have only one because it's easier to debug. I'm going to delete the scripts, go to variables and I'm going to create a variable called is prime. And if the remainder is zero, it's an even number. So we're going to set is prime to false and initially we'll think it's a prime number so we're going to set is prime to true and we are also going to set i to square root so that the loop does not repeat once more from control we're going to get this big if then else condition and from operators Let's get an equals to so if is so if is prime is equals to true, then it's prime number. So I'm grabbing this say hello for two seconds, and from operators we're gonna get this join. From variables, first space I'm gonna put number and then dash is a prime number. I'm just going to duplicate that in the second space and put is not a prime number. From control, we're going to stop all. Great, now we have a proper script. Let's check if it works once more. So 121 is not a prime number. Let's check 17 is a prime number. Now let's check bigger numbers like 991. Great, our script is working fine. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comment section down below. Like this video. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notifications so you're the first one to get notified whenever I post a new video. And please follow me on my Insta at Samiha Until next time, learn, code, and share. Bye-bye.